you know, when I got the um, invite to go up to the surf ranch, I was just like, it was kind of a trip. Like I was, I got out my board bag. It was like I was packing for a surf trip, yeah. a full blown surf trip, like quiver. Like, what am I going to bring? Like, oh, <laughs> like a little bit of anxiety. <laughs> do I, did I got, all, do I have all the fins? I, I mean, like just fins, boards, wetsuits. Like, I mean, you know, just going through the checklist and I haven't done it in so long. Yeah. Like, it feels like a long time, you know, like I haven't really been on a surf trip in months and months. So, um, I was truly fired up to like go ride and, and, and then to top it all off, you know, we've been working on this, on this board for years. I feel like long time, a long time. And it's all kind of come to fruition and like, I, I, I have it. Like it's, I have the board and I get to go ride it in an, an incredible little environment, mm -hmm. the most rippable, playful way, but you can really feel and test a board, tons of speed, uh, good open face, turnability, two rides. Like, I mean, you can kind of do it all and it's just like a really good playground. Mm -hmm. And I was like armed with a couple freshies and I could, I got to wax them up and I was fired up. I mean... And you got to also, there's a, there's one other layer that, you know, we've, we've been talking about the go fish. How long ago was that? Oh man, four, three years. Yeah. Four yeah. years ago. And then we get into the seaside. Yeah. And that's been for the last. It's been almost two years now. Almost two years. Like I've been riding twin fins. I've been riding quads. Like I really haven't done a ton of thruster surfing. Mm -hmm. In, in those that, that time period mm -hmm. like I went I like just was so committed to the go fish like I couldn't get off my go fish for yeah. months and months like we, and then the same thing happened with Seaside I just like got addicted and and it was this crazy thing man I just like I never rode quads before that and then all of a sudden I was like I love quads like huh. you know like yeah. this is crazy I was locked in and so now I'm I have a thruster again so I love you know going away from the biscuit like more towards the high performance so that's that's kind of how the glazer started mm -hmm. and uh you know todd todd had a biscuit and he rode that thing into mm -hmm. the ground it was like just tore up and i'm like hey dude let, me make, let me make you a new one mm -hmm. and he was like oh i love this thing dude i don't know you can't i don't think you can replace it mm -hmm. and i'm like well let's just keep let's start trying mm -hmm. and i started making you know modifying it adding a little tweak in the rocker you know just little things changing the template a tiny bit and and you know he's he just would keep riding i just keep feeding him to him me and him we just trade boards and go back and forth yeah. and it was just a slow like there was no pressure like oh we need this board by you know it's just it was, for kicks with it was buddy. just like yeah. nobody cares like we're just riding this thing and we let people try them and this and that and and it just went on for years and years and years until finally it was like, all right, the thing kind of, it slid across that scale more towards like, I would say right in the middle zone between a high performance shortboard and that, that mm -hmm. real flat biscuity. Yeah. And it's, it's now lives, it's got, you know, just, it's, it's, it's a little narrower, it's, it's thinner, it's a little, definitely more high performance, the bottom contours are different, it's got mm -hmm. more rocker, it's... A lot more rocker to me when I look at it. Yeah, that's totally. Like, it, you, you, you could look at everything outside of the plan shape now in a surf shop and look at it and be like, oh, this looks like it would work. Like, it looks like a, yeah. it, it looks like you brought all the sense of a shortboard into that little nuggety yeah. kind of an outline. Yeah, totally. And, and, and what I, what I like about it too is that you can ride it in tiny little waves you yeah. know it's like you know the board i'm riding i think it has 27 liters which is like yeah three two or three liters more than i normally ride and yeah so you can volume it up really easily totally and and it's a five two oh. so i mean like yeah <laughs> so you're like how did i get that into that it's like yeah. okay all right here we go it's it's um you know you can take it out on grovelly little days and still just get tons mm -hmm. of speed and and uh, put it in places. When you do get that section that you want to do a turn, you can do a turn. Yeah. yeah. And that's something that you've been chasing for so long is how do I make these hybrid boards that give you all that speed that you love from a hybrid, but don't force you to blow sections because you can't turn. Yeah. So it seems like you are 
you've you've done what you wanted to do like four years ago you maybe you've hit it now maybe you've arrived <laughs> maybe and maybe no, no, no i'm no i'm never we never arrived we're never we're never there we're never satisfied okay we're never satisfied jack white said that jack white yeah